Hello, I'm Benjamin Sullivan, and welcome to the first episode of my new YouTube series, The Build Engine Lives On. This YouTube series is going to be an entire video series dedicated to the famous Build Engine. Now, what is the Build Engine, you might ask? Well, the Build Engine is a computer game engine that was created by computer programmer Ken Silverman in the mid-1990s. Those of you wondering what a game engine is, this is the easiest way to explain it. Basically, a game engine is the software that makes the computer game work. Not only is it the software that is used to create the game, but it is also the software that tells the computer how to display the graphics on your screen. Whenever you're playing a game on your computer, what you see on the screen is the completed game and the graphics, but what you don't see is all the lines of code that are operating in the background that are making the game work and are telling the computer how to display the game on your screen. That is the game's engine. If you were to compare two different games that were created using the same engine, chances are the graphics and the gameplay of those two games would be very similar. Here is an example. On the top we have Duke Nukem 3D, and on the bottom we have Shadow Warrior, both games that were created using the build engine. Notice how the two games look very similar even though they're different games, and that's because they were built using the same engine, Ken Silverman's build engine. So, the build engine was used to create several popular shooters in the mid to late 90s, some of the most popular being Duke Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior, and Blood. Now, I'm a big fan of the Build Engine games. I've been playing the Build Engine games since I was a kid. Now, I was born in 1989, and Duke Nukem 3D, which is probably the most famous of all the Build Engine games, was released in 1996. So I was about seven years old when that game came out, and I remember playing it and becoming hooked. When I played it, I remember at the time thinking, this is the coolest game I've ever played. And then I started playing other games like Shadow Warrior and Blood, which use the same engine, and I loved them just as much. So I'm a big fan of the Build Engine and Build Engine games, so I decided to take the time to create an entire series dedicated to just the Build Engine. And the truth is, I've actually been wanting to do this for several years. It's just over the past few years I've been so busy that I never really had a chance to create the series until now. But better late than never, right? Well, actually, this is a good time to start this series for a couple of reasons. One, the game Ion Fury currently has an expansion pack in production. So even though we're already in late 2021, the fact that a, an engine from the 90s has a game in production is proof that the legacy for the build engine lives on. So the expansion pack for Ion Fury, called Aftershock, is scheduled to be released in early 2022, and I will definitely make a video about it when it comes out. Also, Duke Nukem 3D, which is probably the most famous of the build engine games, was released 25 years ago this month. Well, that's half true. Originally, Duke Nukem 3D was released in January of 1996. However, it originally only had three episodes, but it was then re-released in November of 1996 with a fourth episode known as the Plutonium Pack. So, the Plutonium Pack eventually became the Atomic Edition, which is now considered the full version of the game. So, Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition was released 25 years ago this month. And, Ken Silverman, the creator of the Build Engine, had a birthday earlier this month. I know I'm a few weeks late, but happy belated birthday, Mr. Silverman, and thank you, Mr. Silverman, for giving me permission to create this series. So, if you're wondering exactly what the videos in this series will be about, allow me to explain. Obviously, all of the videos in this series are going to be related to the Build Engine or Build Engine games, but to be a little bit more specific, it's going to include videos like reviews of the Build Engine games, comparisons of the different ports of the games, and instructional videos on how to get these old games running on modern operating systems, both in single player and in multiplayer. Hey, if you have multiple friends over and you have multiple computers that all have Duke Nukem 3D or Blood, nothing is more fun than having a few rounds of Duke Match or Bloodbath as long as you know how to get it set up, which can be a little bit tricky, but that's what this video series is for. 
Well, I was going to talk about some of the features of the build engine that made it famous and why I became such a big fan of build engine games, but I decided that since this is just the first episode and this is just the introduction to the series, I'm going to save all that for the next episode. However, I would just like to quickly point out that my favorite thing about the build engine is the fact that it was basically the bridge between 2D and 3D games. Like, if you look at really old games, they were flat 2D games, and most of today's games use full 3D models and are rendered in 3D. Well, the thing about the build engine is that it technically wasn't true 3D, and it still used sprites, which are 2D objects in a 3D world, but it was presented in a 3D perspective. So, it was not true 3D, but it was closer to 3D than other engines at the time. So basically, it was the bridge between 2D and 3D game engines. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch the first episode of The Build Engine Lives On. Please make sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos. A big thank you goes out to Ken Silverman for creating The Build Engine and everyone who helped create these amazing games over the years. Have a great day, YouTubers.